yes, there are uh, different um, places, different countries can have different approach, especially different areas in the globe. So because of the knowledge that the people have on that areas, and also because of the demands also that, uh, that you have, let's say you can uh, have more demands for more detailed um, kind of topics or a more general ones and e even in the way the people was was teach in that area so sometimes it's challenging let's say in some areas to pass your idea so do you have to adapt yourself uh, and you have to find a way to pass the message What happens is sometimes um, the people find out different ways or other ways to use uh, one instrument that was developed for one certain purpose to use it in other way to help them because they help it help them in other clinical situation. So afterwards you find out that one instrument can be used for different purpose even if it was created just for one in the beginning. One of the features that I value most in the LM instruments, the first one is the trust, because you can trust on the quality of the product that you, are, you, that you have, and then the quality that you provide for your, uh, let's say, patients. Um, afterwards, not only the quality, but the innovative, let's say, design, um, and the precision of the products that you have that allows to, in your clinical practice, do it very precise procedures in the different subjects and topics of, um, of dentistry. And of course, uh, as a quality instrument, also the longevity, uh, long life of the instrument also, but special, the trust in the quality of the instruments. Naming the top three is difficult because um, I use it and I'm a restorative. I work in the restorative. I use mostly restorative instruments. But if you ask me, really, you need to choose three instruments. The applica first, because it's a very thin instrument, delicate, that you can just go in the interproximal and modeling the composite as I don't have anyone, I don't see anyone in the world till now. Second one on fissura because you, with fissura you can go detailed, make different details in anterior and posterior delicate, let's say, anatomy of the restorations. And then the posterior misura because with the proper shape you have, you can really make one of the difficult things in the posterior restorations that is calibrate the height of the marginal crests of the, of the, of the restoration and also the space for the occlusal composite if you are working with different kind of uh, um, bulk and body techniques.